subscriber, but if you're new, I'm Dejana and I love everything beauty related and I also love to travel. So there's a mixture of uh, vlogs and travel vlogs and a lot of beauty videos on my channel. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And also if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and also click the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Today I'm going to go through a lot of products that I have been loving through April. So it's both new discoveries and rediscoveries like products that I've been loving before but kind of forgotten about and now tried again and been loving them again. So if you're interested in knowing what those are, just keep on watching. So I thought I would start with some skincare because I have really sensitive skin and I'm especially sensitive to SPF which I have been starting to use again now when the sun has finally come out in Sweden. So yeah, whenever I find products that work for me that I don't get a reaction to, I feel like I need to share it. So this is the Avan Redness Relief Moisturizing Protecting Cream with SPF 20 and it's for dry to very dry sensitive skin just feels really good without giving me a reaction. So I do recommend that for you sensitive skinned people. I also love this spring water from the same brand, Aven. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's just a soothing anti-irritating thermal spring water in a aerosol can. So it's perfect for everything. If you have uh, easily irritated skin or as I said really sensitive skin that reacts to products, this is Perfect. I use it over my face when I have SPF, I use it when I feel irritated or if I have reacted to a product, I use it to refresh my makeup. It's just an all-round like really nice spray uh, that doesn't smell anything, it's just like water but in a super refreshing uh, like mist and yeah, it's something magical in this because it really helps to soothe uh, my skin when it's red or yeah just really angry. Now to a product that's actually a mixture of the two I just showed you. It's an SPF in an aerosol spray can. Uh, this is the Garnier Sensitive Advanced Hydrating Face Protection Mist with SPF 50. So I actually saw someone like years ago talk about uh, an SPF in a spray form that you can use over makeup and I was like where can I find that? So I went on a hunt for a long time just looking for uh, SPFs that aren't in like a spray that you use for your body that squirts out big chunks but that's actually like a facial mist and then I found this one and bought like three bottles and I was hoping it wouldn't irritate my skin and it, and it hasn't. Uh, it's just perfect. You can use it under makeup, over makeup because it's in an aerosol. I can show you like the spray. It's just really really nice and SPF 50 is perfect to protect your skin. Uh, if you didn't know you should like reapply SPF quite often but when you have makeup on that's not really possible if you don't have something like this. So I do really really recommend this and especially if you have sensitive skin because if it works for me I think it will work for you too. I also thought I would go through some hair products because I almost never like try out new hair products so when I do I think it's quite exciting and these have been working for me. If you don't know I have really really long hair right now. It has grown I think to my belly button. <laughs> so it's just really heavy and has trouble holding volume. So I told my friend Cece that works in a hair product store that I like what are you using to get that like really nice volume because I can't find anything that works for me and she recommended these two products. So this one is from Vision Hair Care and it's just called Thicker. It's like a cream that you put in damp hair and it just helps give you a little bit more fullness but it also works like a heat protectant so that's mostly what I use that for. And the other one is really effective to get uh, volume. It's the Lanza Healing Volume Root Effects uh, hair styling mousse and it isn't a crunchy mousse like the ones you use when you were little uh, you put this in damp hair like also when you have washed it all throughout your roots and then you blow dry your hair and it just leaves it a little bit more like structured and you get more volume and yeah it, you just get some texture that you don't have uh, if you're not using this and have problem holding volume. But I am a little bit careful still with these products because I haven't used them a lot of times and when you have sensitive skin it isn't unusual to have a really sensitive scalp so yeah sometimes I feel like I get a little bit itchy from this one but um, 
I haven't had any major problems with it yet, so I do really like it. If you saw my latest full face of first impressions video, you probably saw me trying this concealer, but in two different shades. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and this one is in the shade uh, 01 Light, and this is the shade I prefer and use all the time. As you can see, it's already like half gone, and it wasn't that long ago I did that video, and I do not put makeup on every day. I put makeup on like once a week. I still get freaked out by the applicator because uh, I hate holes. I told you in that video too. I just... Uh, it freaks me out. So when I see the product coming out of little holes in this sponge applicator, I freak out a little bit. But it is really handy to use when you apply it. And I do prefer this one a lot more than the Fit Me concealer actually, that is also really hyped from Maybelline. So if you haven't checked this out, I do think it's worth the hype and definitely uh, worth trying out. In the same full face of first impressions video I tried out a new contour palette and it's from Kix, a Swedish makeup store brand. <laughs> and as you can see there are just four shades, uh, two more bronzy shades and one more contour shade and one light banana shade to carve out anything you want to carve out. And I do really really like this. It is affordable. I love that it has a big nice mirror and that the pants are big so that you can fit your brush. The only negative thing I have to say about it is that it is quite powdery so it, it kicks up a lot of powder when you use it. It doesn't really bother me but I thought I would mention it because I know it irritates some people. As you can see today it's a lot more blended than it was in my first impressions video because then I wasn't prepared for the pigmentation and it got a little bit blotchy I saw when I edited but yeah just be aware that it's super pigmented and use a light hand and a fluffier brush and it will be beautiful. Next up I have two face palettes from uh, Makeup Revolution that I have revisited. I bought these a long time ago. I can link the videos where I did a first impression on those ones. It was way back when I lived in another city when I was uh, studying at the university in Kalmar in Sweden. But yeah, I just got a throwback. But I remembered really liking these but I haven't used them in a long time. So I revisited them in April and I have been using them a lot. So the first one is the Ultra Blush Palette and it looks like this. So the two shades I'm mainly using are these two. I usually mix them or just use this more neutral color and it's just really really nice. Today I mix them. The other shades are quite pink, like this one and this one are super pink, so not really something I uh, use. But in the summer this shade is really beautiful and also this one. These two I haven't really played around with that much, but I have used this one as an inner corner highlight quite a few times. But I just think it's super handy having a palette like this, especially if you like doing makeup on other people, because then you have these darker shades if you're doing makeup on someone with a darker skin tone, or you have brights if you're doing like a bright look, or you have these more neutral ones for every day. So I do really think it's an affordable palette, but also like with the Kix contour palette, it's super pigmented so be careful when you dip your brush in there so you don't pick up too much product. The other palette for Makeup Revolution is the highlighter palette in the color Highlight and it has these three shades of highlighter and I didn't use this for a long time and then I did a colorful eye makeup look a few videos ago and I wanted to match my highlighter to the eyes. So then I picked up this one because it has a gold uh, highlighter, a pinky apricot one and a more purple pinky one. I hope you can see how beautiful of a sheen it is. It just looks wet. Uh, like a wet sheen. It doesn't look glittery or chunky at all. So even though it's not like super natural colors, it does look really beautiful anyways on the skin. So if you're interested in quite a subtle colorful highlighter, uh, and if you want a bit of options, then I do really recommend this one. Another spray that I've been using a lot, as you can see, it's just this much left. Uh, it's the Lumine Arctic Spring Water Enriched Facial Mist. And I have been using this as a makeup, like, setting mist. You will hear now how beautiful this mist is. Like, you can... <coughs> It doesn't taste very good though. You can barely feel it landing on your face because the mist is so perfect and just... Shh. It's just a beautiful, beautiful mist that you can use both as skincare or over your makeup to melt the powders together. Or if you just want to refresh your face during the day because 
I just love this. The eyeshadow palettes I won't be talking about too much because I actually have videos on both of them. So I will link them up here and down in the description box if you're interested. But it's the Jaclyn Hill palette that she did with Morphe and also the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like everybody have the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills so it's almost like unnecessary to talk about. But I just want to say that I do really love the shadow quality and I love the mixture of mattes and shimmers. Uh, even though they're are a lot of warm shades in here and you almost think that you can just do like red looks. I actually did this look today with both the Modern Renaissance and the Jaclyn Hill palette which are both quite warm when you look at them at first but it was because I used the Boulain Fresco shade here just in my crease and I just wanted like a light eyeshadow look today so that's what I did and yeah so it is a lot of variety in here you just have to like think a little bit so you don't only do red looks when you're using it. Same with the Jaclyn Hill palette, the variety is what I love about this. I think that this is the perfect palette to travel with, it's the perfect palette to have whatever look you want, want to do. Like if you want to be creative, pull this out, or if you want to have everything you need when you travel, just take the Jaclyn Hill palette with you. Uh, the shadow quality here too is beautiful, there are shimmers and mattes and it's just beautiful and I do not regret buying this palette. It doesn't have a mirror which is a like drawback, I mentioned it in my uh, full review of this palette. The next eye product that I can't really show because I have it on my eyes, it's the Ardell Wispies False Eyelashes. Uh, I also tried them in my first impressions video like the last one I did. I was surprised on how much I like them when I tried them because they are really long but they don't look unnatural Anyways, because they are really fluttery and wispy, it's the perfect name for them, uh, and they are really affordable. So yeah, if you haven't tried the Wispies from Ardell, I do really recommend you trying them because I have been loving them since the first time I put them on. Lastly, lip products. I love a good lip. And these ones are my favorite lipstick ever since I tried them, like the formula is perfect for me. It's just traditional lipsticks but they dry completely matte and they are really comfortable. I have a lot of shades of this lipstick because it is just my favorite lipstick formula but during April I have been leaning more to the nude lip look so these three uh, shades are the ones that I've been using the most. So today I put whipped caviar on first and then I put spirit on top just to lighten it a little bit but if I want a more pinky nude look then I put temptress and then spirit on top and it's just perfect I love these shades and I love mixing them but on top I love putting this lip gloss this has been a favorite like for two years I think it's the L'Oreal Paris cream lip gloss in the shade protest queen 103 it's just my favorite lip gloss and I love putting it on top even these matte lipsticks it's so comfortable they melt together really nice I love the smell of this one it's like sweet and delicious and it just feels like lip balm it isn't sticky at all I can actually apply a little bit more because I've been talking away this lip gloss That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below on what products you have been loving through April. I love reading your recommendations and of course trying out new products, that's just what I live for. So yeah, I appreciate you being here watching this video and I hope you have a great day, night or morning or whenever you're watching this. And of course I hope to see you in my next video. So click the bell. Bye! Bye!